Hi, my name is Andreas Burkhardt and I'm with the Research Center in Jülich. Here we investigate plants and their secrets. Now I want to show you the so-called chlorophyll fluorescence, which is a tiny red signal that is emitted by a plant whenever they do photosynthesis. This red light is usually invisible to the human eye, but with some little tricks we can see it. This I want to show you with that plant. And we need darkness. This is why we go in a dark room now. We can make chlorophyll fluorescence visible using these two items. A blue flashlight which activates photosynthesis when shining on the leaf and red glasses which prevent the blue light from shining to our eyes. This way when rearing this and activating photosynthesis on the leaf just the red light of the fluorescence is reaching our eyes. But to see that we need darkness. With a normal eye you would see the blue light of the flashlight but using the red filter glasses just the red chlorophyll fluorescence comes to our eyes. How this works in theory we can see now. When the sun is shining white light on the plant, it actually consists out of all visible colors. This light energy is used by the leaf to do photosynthesis. The aim of this reaction is to harvest energy and store it as sugar. But some of the light energy is not used and emitted as heat or red light, called chlorophyll fluorescence, short F. Because the red part of the white light from the sun is way stronger than the fluorescence, the fluorescence is not visible to us. But with a little trick we can see it. First we put the plant in darkness. That means photosynthesis stops and no sugar, heat or fluorescence is generated. Now we activate a blue light which has no red part, thus does not superimpose the red light of the fluorescence. This blue light activates photosynthesis again and sugar is produced, a bit of heat and the red fluorescence signal is emitted. To decouple the strong blue light from the fluorescence, a red filter glass is placed between the plant and the observer. This filter allows only red light like the fluorescence to pass, but not the blue activator light. This way we can see the fluorescence signal with a human eye. Using the fluorescence we can now show with a little experiment how plants adapt to light and darkness. With this little F we cover a part of the leaf and shade it from the light. And then just using the blue flashlight we adapt the light to highlight conditions. The shaded part will remain dark adapted. When we remove the F we will see high fluorescence in the area where the F was and low fluorescence around. This way we can see how plants adapt really fast to different light conditions. So this is how it works to make chlorophyll fluorescence visible to the human eye. By using red glasses and a tiny blue flashlight, which both you can buy easily in the internet, you can make things visible, usually hidden to the human eye. I'm Andreas Burkhardt and I wish you much fun in plant research.